Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. First thing I want to do today is thank each and every one of you beautiful people for joining me here today for my very first show. I am Gator the Sellout and this here is soon to be the number one YouTube channel when it comes to all of the big drama, all the big stories happening with all your favorite YouTubers, all kinds of news, everything that's going on around the world, anything that's hot, anything that's popping, anything that's relevant, I'm going to be coming at you. Gator the Sellout is here to inform you. So I hope everybody is strapped in because I got one hell of a show for you. As I am 110% sure each of you guys are aware of, today was a huge day for YouTube boxing. We had the Logan brothers, we had the KSI brothers, everyone's going nuts, everyone's going insane, the social medias are off the fucking hook, there's all kinds of conspiracies, and we're gonna get into it, we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna figure out what the fuck is going on together, together, cause me and my Gator gang, that's you guys, you guys are the Gator gang. The Gator Gang. And the Gator Gang is going to help Gator the Sellout figure out what the fuck has happened today. What the hell is going to go on in the future. Where is this shit headed? Let's get into this. First out, we got the one, the only, the Walmart King himself. The Alpha Beta Team 10 President, Jake Paul. Coming out. Ready to swing. Ready to fight. Ready to do whatever it takes to win this shit. Ready to pound the faces into the dirt. He doesn't give a fuck. He's ready to go. He's ready to bleed. And he's ready to do whatever he has to to make this happen. Next up, we have my favorite Pokemon, Deji. He's coming out here. He's filled with heart. He might not be the strongest. He might not be the fastest. He might not be the bravest. But he's out here, and he's ready to fight. He's ready to get his ass kicked. He's ready to do whatever it takes. He's like, let's go. Let's go. This is going to be entertaining. We're going to make some money. This is going to be great. Me and Jake Paul, we're going to fight. We're going to settle this beef once and for all. And whoever wins, the other guy, he's going to admit guilt. He's going to say, yeah, I'm probably a piece of shit because you beat me up. Because that's all it takes to prove it. Boom, 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 boom. He's ready to fight. And what turned out to be one of the greatest barn burners of all time, you had Deji coming out, he's taking the lead, you got Jake Paul taking the lead, Deji's taking the lead back, Jake Paul taking the lead back again, it's back and forth and back and forth, Deji looks like he's got it, he's gonna take it down, he's got the win, he's got the win, and out of nowhere, there's towels flying, there's people flying, there's sweat flying, there's blood flying, Jake Paul comes in with the kill, he gets the win, they ring the bell, it's over, it's done, Jake Paul, king of Walmart, now king of the ring. And for any of you guys out there that already follow Keemstar, you already know what he's saying on Twitter, you already know what he's at, he's already saying there's cheating, he's already saying it's fucking rigged, he's already on Twitter bitching, complaining, and moaning like he does so well, and everyone's listening, they're eating it up, and they can't wait for the next drama alert to see what kind of conspiracy theories he comes out with. And then it was time for the main event. First up, we had the man, the myth, the legend himself, KSI. And he comes out looking serious as a motherfucker. He's ready to take names. He's ready to kill. He's got the look of death in his eyes. The reason this whole entire night's happening is because of KSI, the winner of the Joe Walla fight. The last time YouTube fucking sensations fought each other, it was KSI and Joe Waller. And it was a fight that everyone thought, oh, Joe Waller's got this, Joe Waller's got this. And KSI said, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, sit down and recognize. I'm KS motherfucking I, and I win this shit. And then silence fell across the face of the earth. The one and only Maverick rose up from the depths of hell. And he set foot into the ring, ready to go, ready to fight. He looked KSI right into his pie hole and he said, Listen, motherfucker, this goes down now. This goes down right fucking now. And this was indeed a battle for the ages. Worth every bit of the $10 you spent to watch it live on YouTube. They battled back and forth. No one knew who was going to win. At first you thought it was KSI. Then you thought it was Logan Paul. Then you thought it was KSI. Then you thought it was Logan Paul. Then you wondered if anybody was really going to win in the end. You just weren't sure. And it all came down to the scorecards. It seemed as if the audience was behind KSI. It seemed as if most people were thinking, he's got this. But when all the points were counted, when everything was settled, when the dust disappeared, and everybody sat quiet and waited for the answer, they came out and said, it was a draw. It was a tie. There was no win. Nobody won. And now all we can do is wait until they schedule the rematch and you know it's going to be the match of a lifetime. Not one person's going to want to miss it. I wouldn't be surprised if they took the purchase of a $10 live stream to watch this shit and doubled it to 20 bucks. So start saving now. It's going to be an epic event. It's going to be the biggest event ever to happen on YouTube. Plain and simple. Period. But did this stop people from going to Twitter, to go into YouTube, to go in places and putting their conspiracy theories out there? Not one bit. 
we have people out there already saying that this shit was bought off, that everybody was paid for, that the ref, everything has just been paid for. It's all just nothing more than a production. Do I believe that? Do I believe it, Gated Gang? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I believe it. Is it possible? It's definitely possible. Crazier things have happened. You guys are my Gator Gang. You guys are out there. You're looking out for me. You're bringing me the news. You're bringing me the stories. You're supporting me in every single video that I do. So I'm asking you guys, what's your opinion? Who won? Was there a real winner? Was it all fake? Was he paid off? Was KSI in on it? Was he not in on it? What is going on? Let me know the conspiracies. Let me know what you guys think. And I personally, I cannot wait. I can't wait until the rematch to this. It's going to be so fucking nuts. You know I'm going to be there paying for it on YouTube, watching it live, and seeing what the hell happens, and giving you guys a breakdown. You guys are so fortunate to be catching me right here in the... You guys are so fortunate to be catching me right here in the beginning, right in the birth of what is going to become the greatest YouTube channel of all time. What is going to become the greatest YouTube channel host of all time, Gata the Sellout. And what's going to become the greatest audience, the greatest gang, the greatest squad, the greatest family on YouTube of all time, the Gator Gang. I'm so fucking pumped. I'm so fucking excited. Thank you guys for joining me here today. And you're welcome for the awesome, amazing video I just presented for you. Thank you guys so much. Stay fucking sexy. And have a wonderful, fantastic evening. YouTube's number one channel, the number one channel on YouTube, the best drama channel, the best news channel, the best YouTube channel, plain and simple. Thanks to you guys, my first video is a sensation, it's a hit, it's phenomenal. We have over 17 subscribers, we have over 90 views in less than one day with only one video on the channel. We are killing it, we're killing it, we're fucking killing it, and today I got some even more hot, fresh news for you guys, so I hope you're sitting back, I hope you're relaxed, and let's get right into this shit. The very first bit of news I gotta get into today before we get to the big story of the day is Cavos. Now those of you who don't know who Cavos is, it is Keemstar Drama Alert's protege. He is coming out on Twitter and he's challenging Rice Gum to a boxing match. This isn't the first time he's challenged him to a boxing match, but he's brought it back up and he's saying, Rice Gum, I wanna kick your ass. Rice Gum, challenge me in the ring. Let's do this, motherfucker. Stop sitting back, stop putting it off, stop procrastinating, step up, take the challenge, and let's go. Let's fucking do this. And of course, after Cavos puts the challenge out there, the Gator's sitting back. He's doing the hard work for you guys. I am obsessing over this. I am following Rice Gum on Twitter. I'm looking on YouTube. I'm looking on all the social media things. I'm trying to see where he at least acknowledges that the challenge has been thrown out there. Trying to see if he accepts it. Trying to see anything. And once again, Rice Gum doesn't say anything. He doesn't acknowledge it. He acts like he doesn't know because he's scared. Because he's terrified. Because he's shaking in his little boots. Hey, Rice Gum, listen up, buddy. If someone challenges you, you gotta step up to the bat. You gotta step up, man. You gotta get out there and you gotta at least say, hey, I'm too big of a pussy. I can't do it. I'm gonna lose. I don't wanna get embarrassed over this. If you're scared, come out and say you're scared. Otherwise, man up and accept the challenge. And now for the big news of the day, the most exciting news of the week, the most crazy fucking shit I've ever heard in my entire fucking life. Jake Paul, just moments after winning his match yesterday, he comes out, he's in the middle of the ring, and he throws down the gauntlet again. He says, I haven't had enough, I want some more, and he challenges the one, the only, Chris fucking Brown. That's right, the same Chris Brown who went 10 rounds with Rihanna, he's back out there, and he's getting threatened. Jake Paul's wanting to do a good thing. That's how I feel about this. Chris Brown's a fucking woman beater, and Jake Paul just wants to put him in his place. So Jake Paul, I applaud you. He's gonna be too big of a pussy to step in the ring with you, of course. That's why he beats women, because he can't beat a man. So, good luck to you. I hope he does accept the challenge, and if he does, I hope you beat the absolute shit out of him. That's gonna do it for me today, Gator Gang. As always, I'm gonna be out there looking for the hottest, freshest news stories involving your favorite YouTubers, the biggest names out in Hollywood. That way I can deliver you the news as soon as it happens. So be on the lookout. Thanks for being part of the fastest growing YouTube channel on the network, the greatest YouTube channel on the network, and the greatest YouTube community, the Gator Gang, on the entire network. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss a beat. You get every notification the moment I drop a hot, fresh video with all the hot, freshest news on it. Go over to my Twitter, follow me there, at Gate of the Sellout, share this video, like this video, drop a comment, Just, let, let's get to work, Gate again, get to fucking work. Thanks for coming, and as always, have yourself an absolutely fantastic, wonderful evening.
it, gang. Gate of the Cell out here with you as always. I'm so freaking excited to bring you some more hot, fresh news here on the fastest growing channel on YouTube. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you ring the bell for notifications. Share this shit out on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter at Gator the Cell out because this is where you're going to get the news. This is where you're going to get the best drama. This is where you're going to get the, the most honest news and drama with the most honest opinion. It's coming from me, the Gator. So get excited. Get strapped in. Get ready because here we go. The first story of the day is coming from Philip DeFranco. Just a day or so ago, Philip DeFranco went out on Twitter and in a very passive aggressive manner. He put a tweet out saying, oh, I'm surprised it lasted for five rounds. I'm surprised it went on this long. Deji, you should be proud of yourself. Uh, you, you did way better than I expected. Basically calling him a bitch. Basically saying, hey Deji, I thought you were just a world class bitch and you showed that maybe you're not that big of a bitch, but you're still a bitch. Coming from the one and only Philip DeFranco. I'm saying it right now. I want to watch the fucking DeFranco fucking Deji ticket. I want to see Phil DeFranco and Deji in the ring boxing it out. I want to see Deji whip Phil DeFranco's ass because you know it's done. It's over. Phil DeFranco wouldn't stand a chance. I'm 110% team Deji in this matchup. I want to make it happen. Let's make it happen, guys. Harass the fuck out of him. Let's, let's get this going. Phil DeFranco versus Deji. Six months from, from this match, they're doing the rematches. And I think Deji needs to get someone to go against so we can see him fight again. And who better than the guy personally basically calling him a bitch on Twitter, Philip DeFranco. Now, I am not 100% sure he's going to be able to challenge Philip DeFranco to a match uh, during the rematch uh, between KSI and Logan Paul. I'm not sure if Jake Paul and, and Deji are going to do a rematch as well. I feel like that's not going to happen because Jake Paul's already calling out Chris Brown. So I feel like if he's calling out Chris Brown, Deji should call out Philip DeFranco for calling him a bitch on Twitter in front of everybody. And th this needs to happen. I, I mean, I, I would be so fucking pumped to see these matches happening. You got KSI versus Logan Paul. You got Jake Paul versus Chris Brown. You got Cavos versus Rice Gun. You have fucking Deji versus Philip DeFranco. Everybody's gonna be tuning in. Everybody's gonna be dropping some ducats on those fucking streams. And they're gonna make a shit ton of money. Make it happen. Let's do this. It's gonna be even bigger than the first event. Now our main topic of the day may end up leading into an actual fucking fight the way it's headed right now. You got Keemstar who is calling out Casey Neistat for having a Twitter friend who's out there right after the attacks yesterday saying, Hey, uh, Trump isn't responding because he wants to wait to see, uh, you know, what ethnicity this guy is. Because if he was Hispanic or any of the uh, other ethnicities, he already would have said something, blah, blah, blah. And Keemstar took a picture of that and he goes, Casey Neistat's friend is out there fucking saying all this shit, using these kids' death as a, as a political advantage. Obviously, this is a really fucked up thing to do by Keemstar, but we've grown to learn that this is just the kind of behavior he exhibits on a daily basis. Casey Neistat responds. He says, I have over 1,700 people that I'm following on Twitter of all different kinds of races, political backgrounds, and creeds. I'm not actual true friends with all of them. They're just people I've followed over the years and, you know, basically calls Keemstar out. Say, hey man, shut the fuck up. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Which Keemstar, of course, once again plays that off like a fucking joke and like acts like that's irrelevant because that's what he does. Whenever he gets caught up, whenever someone has him cornered, whenever he doesn't have an argument, he just basically pretends like it's irrelevant. Either way, these two are heated. These two are ready to fucking battle. I, I, I don't know what you guys think about it, but me personally, I'm completely on Casey Neistat's side. I think he took it easy on him, if anything. I, if I was Casey Neistat, I'd be making a whole video tearing fucking Keemstar to shreds, uh, but I don't think he's going to do that. He's not going to bring that attention to him. But uh, Keemstar, you're better than this. You're better than this. Don't be sitting there saying shit like that. Oh, Nick, Casey Neistat's friend. I know people who follow 40, 50,000 people on Twitter. They're not best friends with all of them. One of them goes out there and fucking murders somebody. It doesn't mean they're best friends with them. I know people who follow fucking Kevin, who followed Kevin Spacey, and then when they found out what was going on, they defriended him. Uh, that doesn't mean, like, that's his, their views just because they followed him. That's a really stupid, dumb thing to say and then to act like they're friends it's, it's just come on man you gotta grow up you gotta be more mature than that and that's gonna do it today for the news you guys are welcome as always for me bringing you all the hottest freshest drama the hottest freshest topics out there hitting the twitter hitting the instagram hitting the youtube world i want to keep you guys up to date so that's what i'm going to continue to do day in and day out that's what i do for you i sacrifice i sacrifice my time i sacrifice my life for you guys i bleed for you and you bleed for me we are the fastest growing channel on youtube we are the greatest channel on YouTube. You are the greatest community on YouTube. The Gator Gang. The Gator motherfucking gang. And I can't wait. I cannot wait because once we hit 10,000 subscribers, we're going to have merchandise. You guys want to earn some merch? Get to 10,000 subscribers. Tell your friends to subscribe. Tell your mom to subscribe. Tell your preachers to subscribe. Tell your mailman to 
subscribe. Get your kids to subscribe. And you subscribe. And ring that fucking bell so you got the notifications rolling out every single time I update you with the news. Thank each and every one of you guys for being here bleeding me today. Don't forget to stay sexy and as always, have yourself a wonderful, amazing, beautiful evening. Are you pumped? Well, you should be. Welcome back, everybody, to the greatest channel on YouTube, to the greatest audience on YouTube. I'm Gator the Sellout. You're my Gator gang. Everybody get pumped. We have some great stories for you, some great news, some great drama. Sit back, relax, buckle your seatbelt, and let's get ready to go. Just when you think you've heard everything there is to hear about the Logan Paul versus KSI boxing match that happened over the weekend, there's even more news out today. It is being estimated that they earned $11 million from their boxing match. $11 million! Can you even begin to imagine what $11 million even looks like? Or what $11 million even feels like to have in your bank account? Can you begin to imagine? I bet you can't. It's gotta be insane. For, for $11 million, I would let someone beat the shit out of me too. And they're gonna have at least six months to spend this $11 million before they earn probably twice that amount when they do their rematch live to the world with all the hype that's been built up to this one and all the hype that's gonna be built up to the rematch that's gonna settle it once and for all because there's no way it's gonna end in a tie again. It's impossible. They won't let that happen. Please tell me you won't let that happen. There's gotta be some kind of safeguard in place saying this isn't gonna happen if it's a draw again. I'll lose my mind if I'm being completely honest with you. But the point is they have $11 million in six months to spend it. I can't wait to see the crazy shit they come out with. What kind of crazy houses they buy, cars they buy, merchandise they put out there for us. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be riveting. And anything newsworthy, you know I'm going to report it. In the big news story of the day that's everywhere, it's all over the Twitter, it's all over the Instagrams, it's all over the news sites, it's all over the YouTube. Louis C.K., you guys remember this guy? He was a comedian, had a few shows, a few movies, some stand-up acts, a few things going on, and then all of a sudden he came out, he admits that he was just jerking off in front of all these women, just Yankee Doodle Dandy and all over town, uh, so he ended up disappearing for a long period of time. Well, now he's back, he was spotted in a comedy club doing like a little 10, 15 minute bit, uh, trying out some new jokes or whatever from what my sources are telling me so he is crawled out from under his rock and it's a matter of time before we start seeing him places again seeing him doing things a lot of people are pissed about this a lot of people are cool about it i heard he got a stand in ovation after his act so apparently the jokes are pretty good i don't know i guess we'll see where this heads in related news aziz and sorry you guys remember this guy uh, just a small little dude does a lot of funny stuff uh, he also was shamed by a bad date he was been under a rock he's coming back out Chris Hardwick came back out a couple weeks ago, got all of his jobs back. So there's a little bit of this redemption arc going on right now for some of these guys uh, that have been affected by the hashtag MeToo movement. Whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, yet to be determined in my opinion. You guys let me know your opinion below. Let me know what you're thinking. I have no idea what to think about any of this. I, I would never Yankee Doodle Dandy in front of anybody. Let alone fucking random women all the time. Whether I asked or not, it's a weird thing to do. Gator Gang, I hope all you guys are super excited. I hope you're super pumped. The number one channel on YouTube, Gator the Sellout, is growing faster than ever anticipated, than ever expected. We've already crossed 20 subscribers. We've already crossed over 200 plus views, going on 300 views. By the time this gets out, I'm sure we'll hit 300 views. It's a matter of time before we take over the network, being the greatest channel on YouTube that has ever, 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 ever put out content with the greatest the greatest audience, the greatest fan base, the greatest gang, the Gator Gang, the Gator Gang, following Gator the Sellout to oblivion, to the impossible. This $11 million that Logan Paul and KSI got, we're going to shit that out. We're going to shit that out for breakfast once we reach the top of the mountain that we are climbing right now. And we're going to get to the summit faster than any other YouTuber, faster than anyone else ever. We are the number one channel, period. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Just do it. Do it. Do it. And until next time, my Gator Gang, you stay sexy and of course have yourself a wonderful, amazing, fantastic evening.
back my Gator Gang, hashtag Gator Gang. I hope you guys are excited. We have a great episode for you today, a phenomenal episode for you today, the best episode here for you today. And before we get into it, I want to say we just hit 50 subscribers today. After just five short days, we hit 50 subscribers. Some people are shocked, some people are surprised. I am not. I, this is completely expected. We are the greatest channel ever across the face of the network. We have the greatest fan base ever across the face of any network. We are the best, the best host, the best videos, the best ever. Everything. So the fact that we have 50 in just four and a half, five days is absolutely expected and I would expect nothing less. If anything, we should have done double that and we will. Everything's about to take off. I have the hottest, freshest news for you today. So hope you're all excited. Sit back, buckle up, relax, and get ready because here we go. First up in the news today, things coming out on Twitter, things coming out everywhere about T-Few, face T-Few to a lot of you guys out there. Yeah, I know it sounds like I'm sneezing, face T-Few, uh, bless you, but no, this is his name, T-Few, T-F-U-E. He has had both his YouTube and his Twitch accounts banned, suspended for like a month. He's lost his access. He can't do anything. Everyone's freaking out. What happened? What happened? What happened? Well, the Gator, he's dug deep. The Gator has looked hard. The Gator has done the hard work for each and every one of you guys. And what I have found out, what I have determined is that more than likely, there were some people who got into his chat and they were being very racist. And because of the people that showed up in his chat and that, that were acting racist, uh, he loses his account for 30 days. And if this is to be believed and this is the truth, I'm absolutely irate. I am absolutely beside myself. This is ridiculous. Us as creators, us as performers, as entertainers should not be judged based on our audience. We don't get to go out and nitpick our audience and say, okay, you can watch, you can watch, you get the fuck out. I'm gonna be the greatest channel. I am the greatest channel ever across the face of this network. I don't get to choose who follows me. Only the few heroic people that decide they wanna come and follow me religiously, they're out there. I don't know if they're racist or bigots or whatever else they are, I hope not, but they might be. And to be judged based on what they do, it's ridiculous. It's uncalled for. YouTube's better than this. We're all better than this. Get your shit together. I hope this isn't what's really happened, but if it is, hopefully it can get fixed very, very quickly, because it really makes me upset. It really pisses me off. And now for the big news of the day, you guys heard of Ice Poseidon, you know the one and only Ice Mother Poseidon? This guy got robbed. He got fucking robbed. Someone came and stole $500 from him, they stole his debit card, they just took it, they took it, and now it's gone. And he doesn't know what to do, he's, he's beside himself, he's distraught. He's like, well, what has happened? I worked really hard for what I have in this life, and someone's just coming, and they're taking it from me. They're just stealing from me. It's not fair, it's not right, it's fucked up. Fortunately for Ice Poseidon, he did put out there that they tried to use the debit card a few times, and every transaction has been denied, has been blocked. The bank is doing their job. Now we can only hope that the police force come in and they do their job. These police need to go out there, they need to find who this guy is, and they need to put him away. They need to put him away for the rest of his life. That way he learns and other people aren't out there trying to do the same thing. You want to sit there and steal from somebody who has worked their ass off for something, then you deserve to go to jail for eternity. Ice Poseidon, I know you're out there watching right now. I know you catch each and every one of my videos like most big YouTubers do so they can stay up with the hottest and the freshest news. I, I do send you my condolences. I hope you're able to get this all resolved. I hope these people have to face justice and I hope nothing like this ever happens to you ever again. Um, so hang in there, my friend. You do have people out here that support you, that have your back during these trying times. Now I need each and every one of you guys to do something right now. If you're not subscribed already to Gator the Sellout to this channel, go down real quick. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so you can get the notifications so you never miss a beat and you're, you're caught up on every hot and fresh news story coming out that I'm going to give you because I'm doing the work, I'm in the trenches, I'm digging it out on every social media site, finding the good stories, bringing them to you guys, hot and fresh out the kitchen. So make sure you subscribe, notifications on, and here, here's what else I want you to do. Go and find two other people. Go find two other people and tell them to subscribe. And tell them to go find two more people with beast and have them subscribe. And so on and so forth. Before you know it, we are going to destroy this network. We're already the greatest channel. We're already the best channel. We have the best host. We have the best audience. The Gator Gang. The hashtag Gator Gang. The Gator Gang is in the house. You guys are the Gator Gang. You guys don't take no for an answer. You guys are going to make this shit grow. I'm going to make this shit grow by keep putting out these phenomenal, perfect, pristine videos because it's what I do. And you guys keep doing your thing. I keep doing my thing. Boom. Through the fucking roof. It's done, guys. It's over. We own this network now in forever. And I want to thank each and every one of you, my Gator gang, for showing up today, for watching me, for supporting me, getting caught up on the fresh news. And you're welcome for all the effort and time and perfection I put into each and every one of my videos. And until next time, until I see you again, I hope each and every one of you have an amazing, beautiful, wonderful evening.
everybody, Gator the Cell out here as always. Welcome to the greatest channel on the network, the greatest channel in the world, to the, with the greatest audience in the world, the fastest growing channel, the fastest growing audience, the Gator Gang. Hashtag the Gator Gang. If you haven't joined the Gator Gang yet, I don't know what the fuck you've been doing with your life. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Smash it like you've never smashed it before. Ring the bell so you get them notifications. And get ready because today I have only the hottest and the freshest of news. The hottest and the freshest of news of what's happening today all over the world, all over the social medias, whether it be Instagram. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, I have it for you today. So sit back, relax, buckle up, and get ready, because here we go. Our first topic today is coming from Daquan. He's an EA Sports player for TSM. Over on Twitter, he said today that his aunt has passed away, someone he spent a lot of quality time with when he was a child. Uh, and I just I feel like we should say something, maybe have a moment here just to kind of celebrate her life and everything she did for Daquan. Uh, you know, me personally, I lost an aunt a few years ago, and it's kind of a crazy thing with aunts and uncles. You spend a lot of time with them when you're a kid, getting close to them, and they're kind of like a friend there for you. And then when you get older and you start getting your life together and everything, uh, you, you already have limited time to spend with your actual parents, let alone your aunt and uncles. You kind of grow away from them. And then when you lose them suddenly, it, it's heartbreaking. You think about all the good times you had and all the good times you've missed out on in your adult life by not keeping them as part of your life. So, Daquan, you know, I send out all my thoughts to you. I send my condolences out to you and your family. And I hope for some brighter days, some happier days coming real soon for you in your future. Kamikaze! Boom! Have you guys heard the biggest news, the biggest, freshest news that's out there right now? Have you even heard about it? Eminem, the one, the only Slim Shady. He is back and he's got dropped a fresh album. He didn't tell anybody. He didn't have to advertise it. He doesn't need to because he's he's the rap god. The rap god himself. He just drops a whole entire freaking album overnight. Everyone's losing their mind. Everybody's going crazy. It's absolutely fucking nuts. Yeah, hats off to you. This is why you are the one, the only, the rap god. And like always, the Gator, the Gator did the homework for you guys, the Gated Gang, the greatest growing audience out there on the greatest channel ever to exist on YouTube. I did my homework and I've listened to every single track on the album and I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you right now, mwah, 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 it's delicious. It's the best album. It's the greatest album. You gotta go watch it. You're gonna love it. It's, it's literally the soundtrack to my life. Go check it out. He bashes every uh, every fucking rapper out there, every every fucking faker out there, every wannabe fucking rapper, every wannabe hip hop artist out there. All the garbage these days that is just making millions and billions of dollars and is ruining what hip hop is meant to be and what it stands for. And stepping up to the game, to the to the rap god himself. And he showed all of them that they ain't nothing nothing but players, nothing but players, nothing but jokes, nothing at all. They all have just fucking they have taken the L. They taken the big old L. Eminem came out and. And he stole the W. He didn't have to announce it. He didn't have to advertise it. He didn't have to do shit. I don't think you understand how much I love this fucking album. Literally cannot stop listening to it. It's absolutely fantastic. It's just it's just so wonderful and it hits on so many notes, so many notes. And it's like a journey through his whole entire career in life, just kind of wrapped up into this one album. And I, I just I just love it. I love it so much. I did see one article come out and try to bash it, try to tear it apart, saying he's whiny, blah 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 blah. I hope that building gets burnt to the ground. I hope whoever wrote that gets locked up and incarcerated forever. Cause you're wrong. You're nothing but a hater. You're nothing but a fucking hater. This, this album is fire, man. Uh, it's fucking the most fucking lit, most fire, most fucking. As you can tell, I'm about myself. I can't even fucking make words anymore. Just, just go listen to it. Go listen to it. It's called. If you haven't figured it out yet, it's called Kamikaze. And I want to thank each and every one of you guys for joining me again today for the most amazing show, the amazing channel on the network with the greatest gang in the entire world, the hashtag Gator Gang. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You got to subscribe. You got to hit the bell for notifications and hit the like button as well. And go to Twitter. Go to Twitter and follow me at Gator the Sellout over on Twitter. That way you can stay up to date on all the hottest, freshest news stories. And you can also never miss a video because you don't want to miss a video. I told you guys yesterday we were currently sitting at 50 subscribers. I'm proud to announce today that we are now over 80 subscribers. That, this, this is just one little part of why we are the greatest channel on the network. With the greatest fan base on the network. Hashtag Gator Gang. Hashtag Gator Gang. I be, I, I'm going to be taking a few evenings off. I'm going to tell you guys I'm going on a little bit of a trip with the fam. Got to go, you know, got to go release a little bit. Got to drink some booze, float down a river on an inner tube, maybe eat some gummy bears. I don't know. I'm going to do whatever I want, and you guys can just suck it. But you can trust one thing. When I get back here, when I'm back, I'm going to be giving you the hottest and the freshest news that's out there. That's out there on the YouTubes. That's out there on the Twitters. That's out there on the Instagrams. It's coming from me to you because I do the research. I do the work for you guys. And in return, you subscribe to me, and you tell your friends to subscribe to me, and you tell their friends to subscribe to me. 
for on ever and ever and ever. And until I see you again, until we meet up again, until I deliver news again, I want you guys to have an amazing, wonderful, fantastic evening. channel on YouTube, the greatest audience on YouTube, the greatest hosts on YouTube. We're growing unbelievably. We hit 100 subscribers today. One fucking hundred subscribers. Can you believe it? I can because we are the greatest content, the greatest news, the greatest everything. Thank you so much for joining me. I have the hottest, precious news that you've been missing out on. You guys are wondering, hey Gator, where have you been? Where have you, what have you been doing? I've been out in the Himalayas with a Buddhist monk and I've been learning how to find my chi. I have found it, I've discovered it, and I have mastered it like I do everything. So sit back, relax, buckle in, get ready, because here we go! First topic of the day, we're talking about Post Malone, the one and only Post Malone. If you don't know who he is, then crawl out from under your fucking rock and figure it out. You got some serious issues here. He has been involved in a car accident. That's right, guys, a car accident. Post Malone has been in a car accident with his Rolls Royce. He got T-boned, fucking T-boned, but he's okay. Everyone's fine. He wasn't even driving the vehicle, but I'm telling you, it's a close call. We can't deal with these kinds of close calls. We just lost Burt Reynolds. Just losing Burt Reynolds, we lost the one, the only, the fucking bandit, gone, and here we are, about to lose fucking Post Malone in these car accidents, you gotta be safe my friend, you gotta be safe out there, don't disappear, we need you, you're phenomenal, you're great, you're amazing, everyone, go out there, throw some best wishes to Post Malone, tell him to keep his shit together, find a better driver, figure something out, fly, I don't know, teleport, whatever you gotta do, no more accidents, no more risks, stop fucking freaking me out, man. Our next story comes from eccentric billionaire Elon Musk, you guys have heard of the guy, I think you've heard of him, he's the Tesla guy. Well, he was on the Joe Rogan experience just shortly after, just weeks ago, when he was saying marijuana kills, here he is smoking a fucking spliff right there on the Joe Rogan experience, finally showing the kids out there that he is pretty, he's a pretty cool guy, he's a pretty cool guy, he's just smoking away, taking a drag on it, everyone's losing their fucking minds, people don't know what to think about it, now Elon Musk is high as fuck, we don't even know what's gonna happen with the electric car industry at this point, I don't know what's happening with it, I mean, what, what, what does this mean for the future, what does it mean for space, what does it mean for the electric cars, what does it mean for virtual reality, I have no idea what this means for any of us, I don't even know what it means for you, I have no fucking clue what's happening anymore, everybody's smoking weed, ah! And our last story of the day really has me pissed off, if I'm being honest with you guys, the President of the United States, our hero, our leader, the one, the only, President Donald J. Trump, is giving a rally, giving a speech, he's out there trying to build up some support, trying to build the spirits of America up, and there's this goofball, this jackass, this nincompoop, standing behind him, making a bunch of silly faces, as if this is grade school. What is this, kindergarten again? He's back there, he thinks he's funny, you know, oh, look, I can make funny faces too. Oh, ain't I a cool guy? How about a little bit of respect for your commander-in-chief? What about a little bit of respect for your president? For your president of the United States? I don't like when you people do You're coming out here doing this and it pisses me off. I'm just telling you guys, you gotta respect the president. You like him or leave him, love him or fuck him. You gotta like at least, at the, at the very minimum, you gotta show some respect, especially when he's giving a speech on live television. This is important stuff out there, guys. Respect your president. I want this guy to come out. He should issue a public apology, saying he's sorry. Get your shit right, buddy. This is America. We don't play that game in America. God bless the U.S. of A. Put your hand to your heart, pledge allegiance, or get the fuck out. Cause that's the way it works here. You're either on the team, or you're not. I want to thank each and every one of you, my Gator gang, for joining me again today. I have found my inner peace, I have found my chi, and I'm back better than ever. You thought for a moment, how can you get better than perfect? How can you get better than great? And here I come back with the biggest, greatest episode ever to touch the face of YouTube. The greatest video ever to touch the face of YouTube. With the greatest gang, the greatest audience ever to be on YouTube. With the greatest host, Gator the Sellout, that's ever, ever touched the ears, the, the, the eyeballs of the fans, the viewers, you and everyone else out there that's privileged enough to be able to come and watch my video. So I thank you and you thank me. You're fucking welcome. Hope y'all join me again next time. We're at, we're at 100 subscribers already in just like a week's time. We're going to be at 200 before you fucking know it. We're going through the roof. 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. We're going to be at 100 million subscribers by the end of who knows. And we are gonna be the best, the greatest, the most fucking phenomenal fucking channel of all time. 
Thank you guys for coming. I hope you have a great time. I'll see you next time when I bring you the hottest and freshest news. And until I see you again, I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing evening. channel on the network with the greatest host on the network that's me I'm the Gator and I'm here to get you the hottest the freshest news the hottest the freshest drama as I always do I put the work in I go to the Instagrams I go to the YouTubes I go to the Twitters and I get you the hottest freshest news and drama so I can report it to you right here on the best show on YouTube thank you guys for showing up today thank you for being part of the hashtag Gator gang currently over 150 subscribers that's right guys it seems like every time I get on here there is a new mile that we have hit, that we have crushed. I guess that's just part of being the greatest channel on YouTube. So sit back, get buckled up, relax, get ready, cause here we go! First up, we have more tragic news coming from the one, the only Post Malone. As you guys know, we recently talked about him, I think in the very last video, he got T-boned while he was a passenger in his own vehicle. Horrible thing, the car's destroyed, I mean, he's probably gonna get another one, but still, it's something you never wanna see happen. Well, he's back in the news today, and something even crazier, something more insane has happened in his life. You guys aren't even gonna believe the craziness, the epicness, the, the just off the wall kind of bullshit that he's gotten himself into this time. It was reported just yesterday that Post Malone was the target of a home invasion. But here's the twist, here's the craziness, here's the epicness to the whole entire story. They targeted a house he doesn't even use anymore. A house he doesn't live in. A house that he has nothing to do with anymore. But uh, here's the problem. Other people live there. Other people live there. So these fuckers, they come running into this house. They're they're yelling, hey, Post Malone, hey, Post Malone, come down here, motherfucker. We gonna, we gonna rack you, bro. We gonna rack you, bro. Come on out here, motherfucker. Were you scared? Were you scared, Post Malone? Meanwhile, Post Malone's probably thousands upon thousands of miles from this location. Who fucking knows? The point is, not his house. These are some other motherfuckers. And here's what they do. They do some crazy shit. They pistol whip one of the people that live there. Fucking pistol whip. I mean, what the fuck? Is this the fucking 90s? I thought pistol whipping was just a thing that happened in the 90s. Is that thing still going on today? I don't know. It seems kind of cliche. It seems kind of fucked up to do to another person. At least have the decency if you're gonna break into someone's house to not fucking pistol whip them. Whip them. It, it's, it, it pisses me off. It gets me all worked up. I'm fucking irate about this shit. It, it's just, it's bullshit. It's embarrassing. And be more of a man than to go and pistol whip another man in his own fucking house. And the gator, of course, being the man that I him. I wish nothing but the best for the people who lived in that home, for the people that are living there, for the poor son of a bitch who got pissed away, probably in front of his family, maybe in front of his friends, maybe in front of both his family and his friends. At the very least, he's made headlines, and that's gotta be embarrassing. Listen, dude, there's a lot of people out there that have been pistol whipped. Maybe you guys can create some kind of support group together or something. I don't really know. But either way, I wish you the best of luck. I wish the people who broke into your house, get ran over by a truck, or thrown away into a jail cell somewhere very fucking far away, and no one ever hears from them or sees them again. Because they're pieces of shit. Because only pieces of shit would break into somebody's fucking house, not even make it the right house, and then pistol whip somebody. So fuck you. I hope you're fucking done for. Hope we never hear from you again, disappear, I hope you go to hell, where the devil pistol whips you in the fucking face with his fiery dick for eternity. And now for the headline of the week, two singers, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, facing off head to head versus each other, and things got fucking crazy. I wouldn't call it a cat fight, it was more like a dog fight, cause things got dirty, things got vicious, things got a little bit fucking intense. Cardi B's come out and told everybody that Nicki Minaj was questioning her parenting skills, was judging her parenting skills, and and Cardi B says, yo, fuck you, bitch. I ain't taking none of that shit. And she came at her hard. She said, come over here, you motherfucker. And she ran over at her. She's like, come here, bitch. They start screaming at each other, like, bitch this, bitch that. I'm sure there was a lot of bitches. I don't really know the dialogue. I'm just adding it in there because uh, it sounds interesting. And like, come here, bitch. The fucking swinging. No one's really landing any fist. I'm assuming they were swinging. I'm not really sure there wasn't much on that either. But at some point, Cardi B takes off her shoe and just fucking flings it at Nicki Minaj. And Nicki Minaj is over there and she matrix the shit out of that. She's like. Yeah. Like some of that crazy ass Matrix Neo, the one shit. She fucking misses 
fucking Nicki Minaj completely. So by this point, security guards show up, and they're the real fucking heroes of almost all these fucking stories you hear about like this. They pull these these chicks apart, they pull these women apart, and they're like, hey, hey, stop the fighting, stop the fighting, let's just be friends, let's get along, let's have a few drinks, and let's just fucking move on. Shit dissipated from there, but it was fucking crazy, it was fucking intense for a good minute. And now you get all these people saying, oh, I'm team Cardi B, oh, I'm team Nicki Minaj, blah, blah, blah. You know, oh, Nicki's the, the, the victim, no, Cardi B's the victim. Both of you guys are wrong, you're all fucking wrong. The real fucking victim in this story is the person who threw that bomb-ass fucking party that had all these fucking bomb-ass people at it. And here you got this fucking shit happening, ruining a party, I'm sure it put everybody in a bad mood, or the few people that decided to stay, they're probably just talking about the fucking fight the whole entire time. Oh my god, what do you think's going on with Cardi B? Oh my god, what do you think's going on with Nicki Minaj? Oh, it's gonna be in the headlines, blah blah blah. And the poor staff was like, I just want to get some friends together, I want to have a good time. He's sitting over there like a fucking jabroni going, last time I fucking throw a party. So to you, my friend, I say, uh, you know, my, my deepest, fucking deepest console, con condolences, because whenever I see a party die like this, uh, it breaks my heart. It breaks the gator's heart. You guys, when you go to someone's place, you're gonna have to be at a party, you gotta be respectful. If you have a beef with somebody, you ask them to step outside, you ask them to go somewhere else, you don't make a big scene right there in the middle of the party. It's disrespectful. It's not right. And the gator does not in any way, shape, or form approve. I wanna thank each and every one of you, my gator gang, for showing up today. We are growing so fast right now. It's unbelievable. I go to bed every night just watching my sub count increase and increase and increase, and I'm just going, you know what, Gator, you've earned this. You've earned this and so much more. Actually, what the hell is the Gator Gang doing? They're not spreading the word fast enough, because we should be blowing out the fucking Raptors right now. We're only barely blowing out the Raptors. We need to be completely tearing the house down. So go to Twitter, go to Instagram, go to Facebook, go to any fucking place you want to and you spread the word. Get people to join the hashtag Gator Gang. Tell them to drink the Kool-Aid. Tell them to come watch. Tell them to keep up the beat with the hottest, the fucking freshest drama, the hottest, the fucking freshest news right here with the one, the only, the Gator, who's bringing Bringing it to you every single day who's doing all the work for you thank you guys so much for being here like the video share the video follow me on twitter at gate of the sellout and we're gonna make big things happen big things are happening and they're gonna continue to happen and until i see you guys again with some more hot fresh news and drama i want each of you guys to have yourself a wonderful and amazing fantastic evening